Bastion After Dark, Adventures in the Late Night Uber. Right now, where would Taylor Swift be if her very first boyfriend turned out to be a keeper? Discuss, where do you think Taylor Swift would be? I don't even be? know her very first, but we're big Swifties. Well, no, the reason I say that not by where, like what would Taylor Swift, so Taylor Swift has basically made a career out of heartbreak. So if her very first boyfriend was a keeper and she never experienced all the heartbreak from the lousy men that have mistreated her over the years, where would she be? Would she still be an icon? Yes. Would she Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> I think she would. Tell me where you think she'd be. Would she be an icon? Would she be a down and out stripper? You change the name to Crystal? Where would she be? She would just be living in LA. I think she would be, I don't know. If she's still with her first very first boyfriend, boyfriend right. So she has no heartache to sing yeah. about. I feel like she would still find a way to sing. And she okay. would still be famous from her songwriting. Do you think she would be as famous as she is? Yeah, probably. Really? Because See, she's an icon. She is an icon, but <laughs> what made her? Over here. Yeah, Martha's the biggest Swifty. <laughs> okay. Martha, what made her? What do you mean? What like, do you mean? think about the songs that propelled her from, you know, an up and coming to the mega superstar that she is right now. Yeah. What is the what is the one common factor that made Taylor Swift T Swift? Kind of. I guess it is heartbreak. But so I'm relatable to white girls. I don't know. Unrelatable <laughs> to white girls? What? That is true though. How is she unrelatable know. to white girls? No, she's relatable to Oh white relatable. Girls. Okay. I thought you like unrelatable. I'm like, I never knew that about her. I love her music. Yeah. You know? Alright, so since you're a big Swifty, maybe you can explain to me. What the hell does the line in her song that goes, sometimes I dream that everybody's a sexy baby? <laughs> what does that mean? Nobody knows. I think no one knows that <laughs> That's part. a very random line. It is. It's got me very confused. She thinks she's it the big crazy. monster and everybody's a sexy. I'm sorry, but I don't see a baby and think that's sexy. You know? It's confusing to me. Just like, um, what was what was her? Um, Megan Trainer, I am your mother. Who is she I talking to? That song makes no sense. Oh, is yeah. it her kids? Yep. But are you sure? Because she sounds like she's talking to a man in the lyrics. It doesn't sound like she's talking. I mean, how old could her kids be? They're a one and just born. <laughs> okay, so I'm seriously, seriously thinking that she's not telling the kids, I am your mother. Don't mansplain to me. Yes. Pretty sure the baby's not mansplaining a one year old. That would be a very, very um, mansplain thing to do. But okay, so we all feel that Taylor Swift would still be the icon that she is today. Yes. Yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. Comment below. <laughs> if Taylor Swift's very first boyfriend was a keeper and she never experienced the years of heartache that have propelled her career to mega stardom, where would she be? Would she still be a superstar? Would she be a lounge singer in Vegas? Or would she be somebody in random? Where is she from? Nashville. Come on now, Swifty fan. Nashville. From no, Nashville. From Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, okay. <laughs> or would she be working at Hershey <laughs> Park? Or would she be asking if you want fries with that? Where would T-Swift be if not for heartache and heartbreak? Comment below. Hit subscribe. Ladies, say goodbye to YouTube Nation. Bye. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and check out the next episode.